Hello and welcome back to another episode of So Sweet Violet. My name is Jules and this podcast is to share the crafty side of my life. You can find me on Patreon, Instagram, Ravelry and my shop as So Sweet Violet and the links are below this video on YouTube. For my shop, my daughter and I make heirloom pieces including project bags, beautiful kits and patterns and we also stock high quality tools and notions for crafters. I live in West Sussex in England with my husband and little Mabel, our Whippet. Hello everybody and welcome to my journal, Journal 87. Today is the 11th of April, so happy April to everybody. Um, spring is finally here and was it yesterday on my walk? Yes, yesterday on my walk I saw bluebells. So it's bluebell season as well, which is one of my favourites. So I'm really, really excited for spring. I've got a lovely cup of coffee in my... <laughs> the light is so weird. In my Susie Watson mug, little hairs and that looks like cow parsley. Um, I shall have a sip actually. So I have so many whips both knitting, crochet, cross stitch, sewing and EPP. So I've decided to, instead of recording one journal today, I'm going to record two journals. One all about my knitting and crochet and one all about my sewing endeavours. So first off, I'm going to record my knitting one and this will go up well, you'll see it because it'll be up. <laughs> and the sewing one will probably be in a couple of weeks' time. And if this works, that will mean I will be able to put out more journals. So, fingers crossed, this all goes well and I find it easier. Because if I showed you all of my whips, this would be such a long journal. And then that makes it really hard to edit and such a long process. So we're going to have two. And I hope you're all well since we last spoke. It's been a while, probably about six weeks or so. Um, so some of you in the southern hem hemisphere will be going into winter and we're coming into spring. It's quite exciting both ways round, I always think. Um, yes, I've been, I've been pretty good. A few ups and downs. Um... Health is always a bit like that for me. And I've had a bit of a visit from the evil imp, which wasn't pleasant, but he seems to have cleared off now. Right, shall we get into some knitting? Where shall I start? Shall I start with a sock? I'm really, really unsocky at the moment. So I have finished this sock. And this is my... Um, sweet vanilla toe up sock recipe and I use the broken seed stitch socks for the actual um, texture on here so it's kind of two stripes I, my yarns are quite similar but I'm using I've got my lovely furry sheep bag that we sold at the spring fair thank you so much if you visited the spring fair it was so exciting and we were so happy that you loved it as much as we enjoyed putting it together. So thank you so much if you purchased or liked or commented. It was just so fun. So these are the two yarns I'm using. And I spoke about these on my last journal. This is, can't remember, Bird Street Yarn. This is the Spice Girls from Dandelion and Dogwood. Let me find the label. So the Mr. B, who is now Bird Street Yarn, is Leg Warmers. That's a brilliant, brilliant name for that colour. So I'm striping those two yarns and I'm using this really pretty, it's really pretty, um, kind of almost neon peach, pale neon peach if there's such a thing. 
so that's my sock um so i did my beanie toe my godet heel and i did a two by two rib i knit these on my favorite chow goo 2.25 24 inch circular they're my favorite they're my ultimate ultimate sock needles really i don't knit socks on anything else anymore but saying that my sock mojo has disappeared after being so excited because I wanted to join in the 24 in 24 knit along by Dandelion and Dogwood. I made my January socks and I enjoyed those. Then I started these in February. For some reason I just didn't enjoy knitting them. They just seemed to take forever. Or this one because I only have one. Um, yeah I'm just I just get sort of a sicky feeling when I think about socks. It's almost like when you're pregnant and you think about something. For me, it's stuffed marrow. Um, it just gives me a, a horrible feeling and I'm feeling that about socks and I have no idea why. So I think the, the other one to this is going to be a while. Which is sad because I have so much beautiful sock yarn. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this away in my craft cupboard downstairs and hopefully it will call to me at some point or a new sock. I don't know if you've seen, sorry I'm giggling because I've just done the worst description of the lovely sock that ever could be said. <laughs> Have you seen the beautiful new sock pattern by my lovely friend Emily who is Salt City Knits? Um, Gosh, I can't remember. Is it Mountain Mist socks? But it's a bit chevrony and it does look really beautiful and it's great for scrappy socks. So if any sock is calling to me, it is that one. I'll put a picture in here so you can see what I'm trying to talk about. Um, but it won't be for a while. Although I've purchased the pattern, I've printed it off so it is ready. The Broken Seed Stitch pattern is by, I hope I can find it, well it doesn't say actually on this piece of paper which is weird, um, but I'll put the name on the screen of where you can find this pattern. So that is my sad sock whip, <laughs> but it is in a very pretty bag. These are all sold out, I'm afraid. We do have some pouches, though, if you're interested in um, a furry pouch. Okay, my next in the making is this. And this is the Girlfriend's Cardigan by Anka Strick. Strick. Get that right. Um, I'm knitting this in Rowan Fine Lace in Vintage and in, let me find another label, and Hedgerow Yarns in Pale Raspberry and this is her Surrey Silk Cloud. I bought this ages ago, it was um, a custom order but as with everything I purchase it, I put it away and then one day I'll think oh, I need to use that. So yes it's been dug out of my stash which it's lovely, isn't it, to have that in your stash? So I'm holding these two together. And I had some trouble with gauge because I always seem to have trouble with row gauge rather than stitch gauge. And for 21 stitches and 34 rows, it should be 10 by 10 centimetres. But... I only got 22 rows instead of 34, so that's a lot less. So I had to make a couple of adaptions. I also went up from 3.5 millimetre needles to 4 millimetre needles. Um, and my stitch gauge was perfect, it was just my row gauge. I always have that and I don't understand it really. So what I did, oh what size am I making? I think I'm making size 4. One, two, three, four. Yes, size four. And the adaptation I made was 
the pattern told you to do so many rounds from the top here until the end of the armhole. And I think I may have almost doubled that. Let's see if I can find. I have been writing notes on my pattern. Um, <laughs> it told me to repeat two rows until I could count 34 garter ridges. But I did it until I had 45 garter ridges. There was no calculation, no maths involved. It was just a guesstimation. So I really hope I've done that right. Um, I think if I hadn't have done that, it's probably easier if I show you off the hanger. I think if I hadn't have done that, the armhole would have been about here, about here. That's quite tiny. So my armhole finishes here. And I've started the right hand sleeve um, and there's some decreases happening. So I'm hoping it's going to be okay. I wonder if I can put it on. Probably not the best over another cardigan, but <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty good actually. It's maybe a bit longer than I'd have wanted deeper rather but um, I think with the decreases it's going to be fine so yeah I'm very pleased with it I'm enjoying it very much because it's very simple knitting uh, on the sleeve you do have to remember to do this kind of faux eye cord detail down here and obviously you have to remember to decrease on so many rows for so many times the body was very, very simple. You start off with an I chord and then you pick up from the I chord to work first the back and then each front. And then you knit straight for a really long time. And when you get to about here, you do some short rows, which lengthens the front. I wish actually I'd have done a few more short rows than the pattern stated because um, it does come up quite a lot in the front but perhaps that's kind of um, a feature of it. Yeah it kind of is actually. This pattern also gives you instructions for pockets but I didn't want to do the pockets because I don't know I thought it might if you've got something in your pocket it might kind of distort the cardigan. I don't know I think perhaps I was just being lazy. It's got some rib at the bottom. Um, I think that's all I've got to say about it. I'm using some um, needle stoppers from our shop. I thought these were very like um, mini eggs, Cadbury mini eggs, because we have them in green or turquoise, pink. We had lilac and blue. They're just really cute. And something that I found completely invaluable are these floops stitch markers they're so good because they're really light and they're quite thin I don't know if I've got more in my lotions pouch let's have a look they are so good um, we've recently had a restock of them in our shop so we have some really pretty pinks do we have like pink and turquoise I don't know, Bryony was in charge of ordering them, so there's lots and lots of these rattling around in the bottom of my notions pouch. But these are the flutes, they come on a big coloured safety pin. You get quite a lot, can't remember, but I'll um, put a link below to them in our shop in case you're interested, because I found them so good. So that's my girlfriend's cardigan, and that's in one of our big... Liberty rainbow bags. Now I've dropped a yarn on the floor. All right, I'm just going to pop that there because otherwise I'm going to get in such a tangle. Next up, I've started a new blanket. Yes, another one. <laughs> I don't think I showed you this last time. This is called my Happy Four Patch Blanket. Basically, it's a mitre square blanket. 
but each alternate square, one is plain and the other has four little squares. Um, I've had this idea in my head for ooh, a couple of years probably and um, I just had to get it out of my head and into reality. So I am using the mitered square recipe from Martine Ellis. You'll find all the details on my Ravelry project page for this blanket and all of my other mitered square blankets. And I forgot to say, but everything I talk about, I'll put clickable links below this video on YouTube just click the more button below this video and all of the writing, the writing? All of the description and the links that I've put in will show up. So what am I using? I've forgotten what size needles I'm using. 2.5. So I'm using circular 2.5. These are chow goo. These are actually really annoying. These are interchangeable chow goos and I just don't really get on with them. I find that the bit where you screw in bends a bit. I think it's the way I knit. I think I'm a bit heavy handed. So um, yeah, 2.25 needles and my off-white colour is Drops Nord in colour 01. Um, I really like that. It's not kind of stark white and it's nice and woolly, just, I just really like that. And for the um, little four patch, I'm using beautiful bits. So just leftovers, minis, anything that I have a little bit of, and I have a lot of little bits. These are all gorgeous, beautiful bits from my friend Sharon. We did a Christmas shop, and I'm hoping to put all of these into my blanket. Um, Oh, Sharon is SCR1TNO, The Knitting Project, I think. So, for my main square, let me think. I don't want to give you wrong information. For my main square, I cast on, yes, 24 stitches, placed a marker, and another 24 stitches. So, it's a 48-stitch square. And for these little ones, it's 12, in, 12 stitches, place a marker, 12 stitches. And the order in which I do it, this took me a while to suss out actually. So I, let's find the beginning. So I started here and then I went on to this one, this one, this one, and then this one. Um, in the beginning it feels a bit weird, um, but I soon got used to it and now it's kind of second nature. I think I want to do one more square, so that will then be the width of my blanket, kind of here, and um, then I'll just go on up. But what I do tend to do, when I start a mitered square blanket, because often the cast on edge is a little bit tighter than the rest, what I tend to do is turn it over and then join another row to the cast on edge. So the cast on edge is then within the blanket and you get a more even, um, edge. So yeah, that's what I'll do next. So I'll start, where will I start? <laughs> I will start mm -mm, this end. I'll start this end, so this is the cast on edge, and I'll do a whole row across there. I'm calling this my happy nine patch blanket. And it's so pretty, I love it. I'm really, really thrilled how it's come out. So that's that. I've got my phone running over there on record because I'm recording how I record a journal for my patrons. Um, yes, yeah, so I thought they might be interested, all of my setup and everything. 
If you'd like to become a patron, I'll leave a link to that below as well. But basically, depending what tier you are, I was asked quite a lot um, about people wanting to donate to my channel and I'd stop Ko-fi or Ko-fi and so my first tier on my Patreon is for that reason really although every now and again there is a post for the so um, tier. For violet, no, for sweet tier which is the second tier um, they receive a video every two weeks and my videos are generally um, crafting related, going out for brunch, which is my new favourite meal, um, homey things, gardeny things probably coming up soon. Um, they're very like a Vlogmas vlog from me. So that's, they're generally between 20 minutes and half an hour. And if you're a Violet tier member you'll get a video every week every Sunday I put my videos out and you'll get a video every week if you're Violet and it's just more of the same really also if you are on the Violet tier you get first dibs on some of my for example they had first dibs on my beautiful bits baskets so um, yeah these actually will be coming in the shop for general sale tomorrow which is Friday the 12th of April at 8 p.m. I can't tell you how many of these little 10 gram minis I've wound oh my goodness they take well no they don't take very long each but they when you're doing a lot because we've done extra baskets this month it takes a long time and we've used this beautiful print Actually, I think it's called Poppy and Daisy. I did think it was called Meadow, but I think it's Poppy and Daisy. I just thought it was so spring-like. So they're in the shop on Friday. Right, my last knitting crochet project is a crochet project. I need a sip of my coffee. So, I think Yes, I talked about this last, in my last journal. Ooh. Oh, I'm still attached. Why did I not finish that? That's weird. But since then, hang on, let me get it the right way around. I have done a bit more. Oh, it's so cute. This is one of those things, a bit like socks were for me. I just had to learn how to do it. I just... It was one of those things I just needed to do it and um, I was like that with socks and I knit this pair of socks, my first pair, over and over and over and I unpicked it and knit it and unpicked it and knit it. I was so determined and I was a bit like that with this. I, let me think, I started out, please excuse my tummy if you can hear it, I fast until lunchtime. <laughs> And it's obviously um, very hungry today. So I started out on a 2.5 millimetre crochet hook. Then I found that just looked too big. Then I went down to a 2 millimetre hook. That was very splitty and hurt my shoulder. So I went for the middle ground and I've got a 2.25. Oh, tummy, be quiet. 2.25 hook. And that's perfect. Now this is a complete copy, well not complete copy because obviously I've used different yarns, of lovely Sandra from Cherry Heart. She has the most beautiful version that she's made and I think she's coming out with some tutorial videos as well which is really exciting. So she has been an angel putting up with me and all my questions. Oh, I was just checking, I was still recording then. Um, and I've got this far now, so I have quite a few made. Have all of these made. That one, I think, I don't know why that one's not on there. Maybe it should be. Maybe it was the bigger one. Who knows? I'm going to pop that on there. Oops. So I've got these ones made. I don't 
really like this one for some reason. And at the moment I am doing lots of cream off-white ones and again I'm using um, Drops Nord whoops, Drops Nord in the 01 colourway and now it's just a matter of filling the gaps and doing the border I have no idea why I stopped halfway through adding that poor little one and then just keep adding more this is definitely going to be a baby blanket because it takes me so long I bet Sandra can do a flower in half an hour but it takes me about two and a half hours <laughs> which is not which is not great is it so um yeah I think it's going to be a baby blanket but that's fine with me um I'm using again lots of beautiful bits let me show you my basket my basket of all sorts in here. I've got this lovely label from my friend Rachel from So Ray Me. And in this bag here, I've got all of my yellow because I'm doing yellow centres on each flower. Look at this, isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love that colour. Um, oh, tell me. I really hope you can't hear it, it's embarrassing. Um, so I'm not sure if I'll even use all of these. I don't know how many hexaflats. Oops, sorry, I've got things precariously balanced. I'm not sure how many hexaflowers I'm going to need. I probably could work it out now, actually. Uh, I think because there is a trillion ends, I think I'm going to back this like I back my mitre square blankets because I'm just not as neat at sewing in ends as Sandra, really, I don't think. Although I've sewn in ends on that one, it looks okay. Maybe I'll see. Well, there's a lot of ends to sew in. I think I need to take some time to do that, really. Um, a lot of my yellows were from Lay Family Yarn. They do their um, pick and mix minis. Is that the right way up? Yeah. They do their, or Nix Pick and Mix Minis, I think they are. And they're brilliant. If you're doing a small a project that needs small amounts, their Pick and Mix Minis are fantastic. I just ordered a whole load of yellows. And then each of my flowers will have a yellow centre. So I think that's it for all of my knitting and crochet. My little pouch. Got Marjorie. Is she the love bird? Oh no, she's the Christmas bird. Not sure if we've got her anymore. That was quite a lot of chat and more than I expected I was going to do for my first journal. Do I need to say anything else? Would you like a weather report? Well, it's cloudy and a bit rainy today. It has rained nearly every day for months. When I take Mabel for a walk and I'm up to two walks a week now, I'm getting my energy and my strength back. It is so, so muddy. We went for a walk in the Blue Bell Woods yesterday. It was terrible. Poor Mabel, and some of it was like sinking mud. Her little skinny legs were just sinking into this mud. Um, she didn't like that very much. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's the weather, but there are lovely signs of spring in my garden and everywhere. So that's really uplifting, isn't it? Oh, I was going to chat a quick bit about um, what I'm watching and I thought in my sewing journal I'd tell you about what I'm listening to. So watching at the moment, um, last night started Race Around the World and I love that, that's really good. It's about, I think it's five couples, so each couple is a team and they have to get from one place to another place with the same amount of money that it would cost to get flights. So they have the cash and they have to travel and kind of, um, they can do work to earn some money and things like that. Um, and this time it's in Japan. So it's been really, it was only one last night which I watched and it was really, really interesting. 
I am also watching the Miss Fisher mysteries, which I really like. I love the clothes. I love Miss Fisher. Friony. Isn't that a strange name? I thought in the beginning, it's spelt P-H as well. I thought in the beginning it was Bryony. And um, I thought that was really exciting, but it's Friony. And I'm really enjoying that. It's very um, light-hearted, light-hearted murder, if there's such a thing. Um, but it's just something just nice to watch. Of course I'm watching podcasts, which I love. Um, am I watching anything? Oh, Gardener's World's back on. That's really good. Love Gardener's World. Although Mabel gets very excited when, is it Nell? I think it's Nell, when Nell comes on. The dog. <laughs> that dog is so adorable. Um... I'm watching any oh I'm watching also Palm Royale can't remember where I'm watching that on is it Prime maybe that's so good that's set in I think 50s and 60s and it's a it's in gosh where is it like LA or California somewhere like that and um I probably got that completely wrong, but it's a very um, kind of upper class club called, I guess it's called Palm Royale or it's held in the Palm Royale Hotel. And this lady really wants to become part of this group. And it's all about that really. And it's just so lovely and I love all the clothes and it, it's funny too. So that's really good, I would recommend that. Anyway, I think that is it from me today. Um, I wish you a happy, healthy and crafty time until I see you next. Bye. Hello, I'm back again. I forgot to show you something. So in this lovely little house bag, I don't know if you can tell the difference, but I've put my studio light on. It's a new thing. I sound very, well, I feel like I sound very um, professional when I say I've got a studio light. I've put that on. I'm not sure if it's helping or hindering, but we'll see. So in here is my dream knitting. But it's, it's actually more than dream knitting. It's kind of a reality knitting because I've got all the yarn. So I'd like to make the shell, the traveller shell by Andrea Mowry. And I just love it in the colour that she's done it in, that lovely turquoise. So my yarn choices are, now what does she, I think, I think hers was La Bienne May, suggested, yeah, La, La, Bienne, La Bienne May, um, but because we are no longer in Europe, it's just so expensive for us to um, ship things in, so I decided to find my own yarn in the UK. So, four, she holds two yarns to, what is happening here? I'm letting my hair go grey. It's quite exciting. For one of my colours, I have water green. Um, and it's lace weight from Malabrigo. And for my other colour, I have Betty Applewhite from Dandelion and Dogwood. So I'm hoping they're going to play beautifully together. I think hers maybe is a bit more blue than mine will be, but I'm happy with that. I think it's such a nice colour. So yeah, that is my next knitting project after I finished my girlfriend's cardigan. It's so strange because on my last journal, I remember saying to you that um, I was really into knitting small things and it's completely changed and all I want to knit is big things. It's weird, brains are weird, aren't they? Anyway, now I really am going. Lots of love to you all and I'll see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.